The idea that Oppenheimer is a goofball for not realizing the consequences of his actions is a tantalizing one. After all, during World War II, he spearheaded a race to create an atomic bomb under the Manhattan Project, a project that produced the first nuclear weapon of mass destruction. Resulting nuclear weapons would go on to be dropped directly onto Japanese cities Nagasaki and Hiroshima, killing hundreds of thousands of innocent civilians and leaving horrendously dangerous levels of radiation that would kill far more after the event. At any rate, memes referencing his Now I Am Become Death quote have become a scathing satirization of a scientist who spent years designing something that would kill someone, then regretted it as if he wasn't able to perceive the consequences of his actions. And after witnessing the destructive power of the first nuclear test, Oppenheimer was reminded of the famous line, Now I Am Become Death, Destroyer of Worlds, from the Hindu scripture Bhagavad Gita, wherein Krishna manifests as a sublime, terrifying being of many mouths and eyes and says this quote in front of a soldier prince named Arjuna, in order to assure the soldier they are just an instrument for war and not responsible for the death they must wreak. This has become somewhat misunderstood over the years as many believe Oppenheimer is relating to Krishna, but in reality he was relating to the soldier compelled to take part in an ultimately destructive battle. Backing this idea up is the fact that upon witnessing the Trinity test, Oppenheimer also said, if the radiance of a thousand suns were to burst at once in the sky, that would be the splendor of the mighty one. So it's clear he felt compelled to do his duty in the face of something resembling terrifying divine power. Oppenheimer would later speak against the production of a hydrogen bomb and famously told President Truman that he felt he had blood on his hands after World War II ended. Reacting to this, Truman told him to let him worry about the blood, yet would later describe Oppenheimer as a crybaby scientist, which is a little bit funny despite the serious topic. With the release of the Christopher Nolan film on the horizon, many on the internet have decided to take the piss out of the serious moment of a man discussing his actions that would lead to the label of father of the atomic bomb, and have made fun of his taking accountability for the deaths caused by the atomic bomb. Zymo Nitrum has done a fantastic job of converting a famous 4chan post into reality, expertly weaving Gangnam Style into the serious Oppenheimer trailer to make it seem like a summer family blockbuster comedy, in line with the tone of the meme surrounding it. In short, in true chaotic online fashion, the world was seeing an extremely serious moment consistently mocked as the man who fathered the atomic bomb knew his actions would destroy hundreds of thousands of people, but felt compelled by duty to complete his work. Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer releases in cinemas on the 21st of July, notably the same date as Barbie, so go do yourself a favour and check it out then. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>